guys you have to watch this video to the very end because the thing the most important part of this video is at the end because i know you don't watch my videos to the end so i'm leaving the best for the last please i beg Why? you i beg you i beg you any ads that you see on my videos please watch them please watch them please watch them please don't skip my ads thank you Hello. guys welcome back to another video if you are seeing me for the first time my name is paula shade in today's video i'm going to be telling you eight uses of vaseline in skincare not necessarily skincare but it's going to be more of skincare and then i'll just add a little bit of one or two things that i do with vaseline and i'm sure that other people do and it works okay a lot. the very first tip the very first thing i use vaseline for is that i use it to treat minor cuts at home so let's say i have kitchen cuts i was chopping something and you know a knife cut my hand or shaving cuts you know how when you are shaving and then you just get some small 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 cuts and that is very painful don't fret don't buy even look for plaster or anything just rinse it out rinse the place out run it over you know run it on running water and then just add just a little bit of vaseline to seal that point that way bacteria from outside will not enter the face of the you will not enter your injury and not get infected and once it is not infected trust me it heals up as soon as possible so yeah if you have cuts if you have shaving cuts or you have anything cuts don't go and be running around guys just go and use this on it that's the first thing and i sincerely apologize because you are going to be seeing this ant fan in this video today there's no light no there's no light i'm currently running jane and because of that i can't use the ac the whole place is very hot let me that i have two windows open right in front of me this whole place is very very hot so please just bear with me i don't know what set me to wear black but well, you know things i do because i love it so the second thing i use vaccine for is i use it for um lip scrub i use this to scrub my lips so it's no news that my, i have dark lips i have naturally dark lips and i don't want to use this prop this normal pink lip cream that everybody uses but from the fact that it does they don't even work for me i feel like you know these things that they put inside there i know they use carotone they use a lot of things that i'm not sure are edible so i don't even bother using it anymore i just try for example to scrub my lips naturally and then you know till i till i have money to go and do lip tint or whatever they call it lip blush or whatever okay so what i do is i just apply a little bit of i apply a little bit of vaseline on my lips and then i have a toothbrush i have a separate toothbrush that i don't really use and then use to scrub my lips actually i've not done it more than three times i just realized it you know and i can categorically tell you that it helps it makes my lips softer my lips appear like when i when i apply this i just use soft toothbrush and then i use it to just rub to just scrub gently scrub my lips gently scrub my lips they just rinse it out they now apply lip balm again like guys it makes my lip very very soft like very soft and then gradually it's going i know it's going to lift the color it might not be as pink as everybody wants it as i personally want it but i know that it's even getting better do you understand so you can use it as your lip scrub as well and then the third thing i use first thing for is my under eye. I use it for my under eye. Every, I don't know if you know that our under eye is very, very, it has the most delicate skin. The skin there is very delicate. It's not even advisable for you to, like most times, even when people are rubbing, people that use makeup a lot, I know that you must have heard that you should not put foundation, you should not put this and this under your eye. And there are so much, there are some creams that they are under eye cream that are specifically made for under eye instead of going to buy those ones if you have the money why not as a matter of fact i know two two under eye creams that are very 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 good and nice but instead of going to buy those ones especially if it's not you know in your budget you can you, should, you can also use this so maybe you want to use some active ingredients or maybe you just want to feel like your under eyes are dry and they're not well moisturized feel free to use this under your under eye this is very 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 nice and then the fourth thing hmm you know people that they are ill, the back of their of their leg, they are yeah, ill, not in one way, I be so in it. They are ill, uh, they have cracked eels, dry eels and all that. This helps, okay? This really, really helps. If you have dry eels, if you, have, if you feel like your eels are dry, they are, or maybe they are even cracked or anything. You know this um, stone that they used to exfoliate to scrub the feet, right? Get that, scrub your feet, and when you are out, um, when you are out of the shower, get a good quantity of Vaseline, you need to rub your heels, wear socks, and go to bed. 
it doesn't work immediately it doesn't work like magic but the the next morning of the first day you use it you will see a difference your ears will, will feel very soft and all there's actually something i've been i've also been using it to do that i'm not going to tell you guys in this video because that one is a a different separate video by itself okay so it helps to 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 take care of your cracked ears another thing that it does is that if you have white patches on your body if you have white patches on your skin this helps okay it's not this one it's not supposed to be another video entirely where i talk about remedy for white patches and all but this is a bonus okay if you have white patches just you know those white white dots now that creams give you i don't have i used to have it but i started using this and then now i don't even have it anymore now nah, i don't have it anymore so if you have white patches on your skin Try applying this. I know I've told you comfortable to, to, to apply normal moisturizers and all. But if you even if you have this, just apply a little rub your cream and avoid that area. Then apply a little bit of dressing to that side. Within a week or two, everything would have cleared out. Thank me later. And another thing that you can use it for is for baby brushes. Guys, you have to watch this video to the very end because the thing, the most important part of this video, the most important part, the most important thing. I use this thing for is at the end because I know you don't watch my videos to the end so I'm leaving the best for the last why you should actually use this is at the end of this video I know skip it all watch everything so another thing you can use this for is if you have a baby Vaseline helps with your dark or your baby's dark rash so some babies have dark rash you know your bum bum will be having rashes and I don't have a baby please don't stress me but I do know that I know a couple of people that have babies and they testify that this does work, okay? If I even comment, come and tell you that I'll use this one and this one. Trust me, I must have done my research, I must have made a couple of calls, I must have even used it by myself, okay? So if your baby, if your baby is suffering from diaper rash or rashes on the butt and all, use this and watch how excellently it will work, okay? Another tip, another thing, I don't know what number, is this number 6 or 7? I can't, I've lost count. Another thing you can use Vaseline for is to make your perfume last longer. So if you know me, you know I love perfumes a lot. Like, if I bring my perfume collection to you guys, I don't know. But anyways, this helps to make your perfume last longer, okay? If you, what you, all you have to do is just take a bit put it on your pulse point i i usually don't put perfumes on my wrist anymore because of my jewelry jewelry and all so i don't really put perfumes there anymore because when i wear this watch when i wear my bracelet i don't want my perfumes to ruin my jewelry so what i do what i do is this part your pulse points are basically in, in between your elbow this place this place you know this place on your cleavage the back of your legs so what i basically do is i take a little bit of vaseline and put it in then spray my perfume it is an occlusive scent so it helps to it, 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 it doesn't leave your skin during the course of the day so since it doesn't leave your skin the perfume does not leave it also so it will enter your skin but it will also it will also leave your it will also create a barrier between your perfume and your skin so your perfume is on top of the vaseline for the whole day and trust me you walk around lagos you walk around around the face of the earth smelling like a bag of money trust me and then to the last part of this video to the most important part of this video there's something we call slugging in skincare slugging is like putting a protective barrier on top of your face so that all the ingredients you have used all the skincare products you have used so it allows it to like settle into your skin very well so hear me out when i want to do my nighttime routine i cleanse my face use my retinol use my serums use my moisturizer use my white new face cream and then because most times when you sleep you try to rub your skincare product on your pillow you tend to transfer your skincare product on your pillow this is where Vaseline comes in. So after using all your skincare products, take this and apply. Don't go and apply too much because some people go and put their hand inside and apply too much. But trust me, this is not going to clog your pores. If you look at it, you basically think it is oily and it's greasy and all that. Petroleum jelly, that is Vaseline, does not clog your pores. Believe me, if you are not comfortable putting Vaseline on your face, it is fine. Trust me, it is absolutely fine. I'm not, I'm not telling you to go and do it. But this is what I do. And it works for me 
In fact, my skin has really, really gotten a lot better. I'm still going to come. I told you guys I had acne breakouts at some point. It is still not perfect, but it has gotten a lot better since I've been using this. So this basically helps to trap in moisture, to trap in hydration into your skin. So after using your all your skincare products, I have used your moisturizer and all. Apply this all over your face. Or if you're not comfortable leaving it all over your face, if you have like some particular parts of your face where you think they are dry or you want your skincare products to really, really work on them, put Vaseline like this much. Put Vaseline all over that part of your skin and sleep. It does two things. One, it helps your skincare products to remain in your skin so that they will work. Two, it helps to not even get your pillow stained. I use, I always use white white pillowcase, and before I got to this, I, I usually change my pillow pillowcase every two to three days because my skincare products tend to rub on my pillowcase and it gets stained easily. So I remove them. But since like when you put this, this is what is going to be rubbing on your pillowcase, and trust me, it doesn't stain your pillowcase. When you use skincare, when you use active ingredients like like, like retinol, like adapalene, like deferrin gel, you know all those retinoids. I will not advise you to slug it with Vaseline because those ones, your skin does not need too much of them. Your skin needs very little retinoid to work. So if you already have them and then you're not slugging, you're not putting this to seal it in, it might be too much for your skin. So maybe on nights when you don't want to use retinoid, on nights when you don't want to use any of your retinoids or tretinoin, you should, if you want to, if you want to give it a try, you should slug with Vaseline after you have applied your skincare products, put Vaseline on top of it and just do it for a week. See what it looks like. But on days when you want to use retinol, or any of those active ingredients, I don't advise you to slug with it. That's basically it. And, I, and it goes without saying that retin, uh, Vaseline is also a very good lip balm. It says that it's a very, very good lip balm. When, like, when I want to sleep, my skincare product, my skincare routine is not even complete without my lip balm. And this is what I use as my lip balm. During the day, I have one small Vaseline, that small, small pink one. That's what I use during the day. If I can quickly see it, and then it's small. If I'm not, I don't really wear makeup most time, so I just keep it in my handbag. When I feel like my lips are getting dry, I use it again. Then at night when I'm at home, I use this. Guys, that's it. That's basically what I came here to tell you guys. That Vaseline is the new white gold. <laughs> white gold. That's it, guys. And how is this weather? How is this weather in your area? Ah, I don't know. The heat is too much. The heat is too much. It is too much. What are we doing about it? Guys. Anyways, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. And you guys, please, can you see that we are now monetized? Can you see we are now monetized? Please don't skip, don't skip my ads, please. I spot any ads that play on my channel, please do not skip it. Guys, please, guys, please, guys, please, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Any ads that you see on my videos, please watch them. Please watch them, please watch them, please don't skip my ads. Thank you very much. And I will see you. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And I will see you in another video. Peace out.